And we're back to the Thousand Year Campaign with the magnificent empire of Portugal, dominating the Western Mediterranean. And striving, striving and trying to spread into the Atlantic holdings soon enough. For the meantime, though, we will uh, try to balance campaigns in the East. We are already claiming several territories. Uh, in Greece. We will try to claim territories in the west to curb the possibility of a rising United France or Holy Roman Empire, who knows, uh, or a uh, colonial rival England. So we'll try to curb power any way we can using our allies Ireland. Gascony, however, um, we will try to vassalize as soon as we can. That means they will have to integrate Brittany, however. Sooner said than done. Hmm. In any case, uh, Ireland, we will need to have... Oh yeah, much closer borders to them to manage that. So, first things first, uh, we're working on building a spy network for Pontievre. So we can get Montpellier here under our fold uh we are going to oh yes uh, we can already start claiming only 20 do we not have 20 oh it's not the same network okay so let's start building our network there also then and start claiming greece so uh technology too many oh yes of course i forgot Come here, Savoy. We... Oh, we now have no diplomats. Crap. <laughs> uh, yes, I just sent you there, I know, but... Please come back. Oh, no. Claims fabricated. That's not good. A new cardinal. Can we... Yes. Ah, yes. So, how did you become Pope? Well, I just bet everything I had on 666. 666 is the number of the... <coughs> uh, of God. Yes, God. I meant to say God. I'm oh so pious, yes. 666. Ah, Genoa wants a... Uh, sure, royal marriage. That'll ease the tension, I think. I hope. Now that we have a diplomat, we can cancel military access from Savoy. We don't want to be losing diplomatic points. Corruption. Ah, maybe we need to, yeah. Spend a bit more on curbing corruption. Our overextension is killing us. We need more administrative points, but we also need our technologies to move up, so... <laughs> kind of hurting four points here. Risk of becoming... Ah, because we don't have... Ah, uh, yes, we don't have an heir, of course. We will have one soon enough, I believe. Plenty of royal marriages will ease that. And Toulouse have declared war on the Knights Templar. Well, infighting in France. Who would have seen that coming? So unusual for uh, unrest in France. So, uh, moving on to Greece again. Let's start working on that uh, spy network, shall we? So, only 20 points. Oh, maybe we can start fabricating. Yes, we can. Thessaly. Hmm. Yes, I think I'll do that. The time has come for clergy, blah, blah, blah. Do not meddle in the flares of clergy, they gain influence, or... Ooh. They gain influence for 25, no, 14, 15 years, okay. Or... Hmm, that's a lot of money. Do not meddle. Do not meddle, uh, so. Ah, purchase an ability. Let's see. 
Feudal de jure law. That's pretty good as the edicts go. Justified wars. Now. <laughs> now that we'll need. A lessened aggressive expansion impact. That plus the papacy, if we get it, uh, that would be 30% reduction in aggressive expansion. That's a lot. So, uh, we would also have transfer subject. Eh. Improved war taxes, minus 100% war taxes. That's pretty good. Cavalry armies, cavalry armies. Eh, okay. Higher developed colonies, good but not now. Adaptive combative terrain. Adaptive combative, not combative. Adaptive combat terrain. Terrain of capital. Capital is close. Uh, hello? Uh, planes. Okay, so that's pretty common. And our special Portuguese ability, of course. Colonial growth. Uh, but first things first, I think we'll do uh, with a lesson aggression. Yeah. Lesson aggression is what we need because of all of our conquering ground here. So, uh, let's just check on that. My, uh, ooh, 24. Uh, that's the highest it's probably getting around here. Um, yeah. Less of that will be very good. Less of that will be very, very good. Come on, tech. We're almost there. We could use a lot more tech. What missions are we working on? Ah, going westward. Uh, okay. Well, can't do that now without uh, exploration ideas. Great trading houses. We would need a trade depot or stock exchange. Well, that's really far off. Okay, well, nothing for now then. Carnal sins. Could her lips be any redder? Could. <laughs> Doubtful. Owl hollow in the back of your mind, echo the cautioning words of recent futures. The need of an heir goes before the need of forgiveness. Oh, we get a terrible heir. No, 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 no. No, that's terrible. He's a terrible heir. Forgive me for I have sinned, yes. We'll get an heir somehow. Somewhere not like that. Come on, she's of healthy age. And so are you. Just get to it already. How ugly can she be, really? Fabricate a claim. Ah, Montpellier. There we go. Seldrick Al Jazeera have embraced Renaissance. Hmm. Well, uh, so we can stop building the network there because that will not be of much use once we conquer them. So, we could declare war on them right away, in fact. Let's get an army in position. How many uh, troops do they have? We're pretty high up there, which is good to know. England is quite powerful as well. That's uh, worrying. Genoa surprisingly strong as well. <laughs> yeah, England and Genoa could probably double team me. Uh, okay, well, I can't find them like this, so... 7,000. That's pathetic. Okay. So? Yes, they do hold provinces we want, so... Should we have Gascoigne uh, join in? They have troops that could be useful in ending this more quickly. Mm, and the Anjou would not join. Ah. Oh, they're in debt. And they're also at war with someone, apparently. Who are they at war with? 
Oh yes, of course they're allies of I see the Knights Templar. Oh that's handy then. Okay, let's have our armies move in then. Ah Oh yes, national ideas. Let's go. So, we are Portugal, so for national ideas, of course, we are going to go with exploration. Exploring the world and uh, trying to control the trade and, of course, kill any and all heretics. Anyone not a Christian is just plain evil and needs to die now, yesterday if possible, in painful, slow, slow, evil ways. That's what God wants, obviously, for some reason. Don't ask me, just ask the priests. They know better. They know how to read the chicken entrails or not. Oh, oh, that's uh, witchcraft. Okay, so don't do that. Exploration then. We should probably start working on, hmm, yeah. Should start working on exploring things. Uh, yeah. And the right idea... Yeah, the next idea after that is colonialism already. Yeah, we should get... Higher developed colonies. Yeah, we should get Portuguese colonial growth to begin with. And then straight after that, higher developed colonies. That's my idea. Uh, so how much would we need for that? 800. So 800, 10 per month. Okay, 7 years. Mm, right. Well, then maybe this and then that. So that the colonies start growing as soon as we uh, make them. Okay. In any case, uh, we should definitely get that. Before that, a technology then. Mm, tempting to get the technology though. Uh, how many points are we making? 10. That's not a lot. Oh, we don't have a national focus. Yeah, I think we should do that. Yeah, I think we should have done that before, even. Uh, we're gonna need the exploration points for all these uh, ideas. Um, now let's not do that. We need the tech bonus. Hmm, having colonies would speed things up considerably, though, and the sooner the better. And this, I mean, uh, once our neighbors start getting this technology, they'll get cheaper for us as well, so... Yeah, let's go that first. And... Let's go straight into an explorer. Vasco Tellers de Menezes. Well, that's a really fancy name. Let's go. Uh, so. Uh, should we get the... Yeah, I think Carex. Not the flagship. Let's see. Good exploration names. Hmm. Polyphemal. Hmm, that's an odd, interesting name. And... That's Spanish. Oh, that's a cog. Idiot. Uh, Phoenix. Let's send the Phoenix out. Let's send the... That's misspelled. It's Guy Vata, not Jevata. Damn it. That's a seagull. It's supposed to be seagull, but it's misspelled. And... Argo. Oh, yeah. Greek mythology the entire way. So, you can go explore, my friend. Um, 
Let's explore the North Atlantic, maybe? Or the West African Sea? Um, sure, let's start with the West African Sea. We have bases there. Okay, army is ready. I think we can declare war on Pontievre. And let's have... Uh, maybe not even use the points. We don't need to. Let's confirm. The unit is needed for war. Not really. Can go back to fighting. Uh, and you, siege. Can call allies. Yes, we can call allies, but we don't have to. Are we losing money now? Yes, we are. Um, hmm. Because we have to... We don't really need all these forts. Such a puny, puny war. I mean, Pontieva is not going to attack us. Even if they do, we don't need all these forts. Especially not the ones down here. Uh, but that one we'll probably need against Genoa. Uh, whatever. Uh, yeah. Okay, that'll save us a pretty penny. Have the rebels up north? Yes, they're wreaking havoc on Genovese lands. Good. <laughs> Good. They need to be uh, knocked down a peg or two. How much will we be losing? Seven. Seven a turn. Royal patronage. They shall have our endorsement. Wow, that's a lot of money. No, no, no. Three innovativeness would be good, but again, ta tax modifier for 15 years. Oof. No, no, that's too much. Okay, this is done. Let's attack. The Doctrine of Particular Judgment. As we know, when we die, God judges immediately and decides a soul's fate until it awaits the last judgment. However, a monk has started a doctrinal dispute that verges on the edge of heresy, claiming that there is no purgatory and saying that prayers for the dead do not assist their passage into heaven. Who would have thought people Asking for contradictory things, not making a difference. These disputes are threatening the very unity of our church. Probably a heretic. Let's get the influence instead. Oh, we're down to 57. Hmm. 57% chance. We need 25 influence to up that. Well, we're making quite a bit of influence, but... Yeah. Would have liked more, as always. Okay, you need to be on that side. So go. And you need to be over there. The great power of England has forced Paris to break their alliance with Flanders. Ooh. Okay. Well, Paris seems to be in a bit of a pickle then. They would have been uh, good candidates to be able to reform France. 
but apparently not. Ah, we can uh, have our claims. So, let's see. Naxos, or Corinth, or Macedonia. Let's go for that. And how many points do we need here? 25? 30. We're still improving relations with Genoa. Not that that's going to do much good, I don't think. Let's uh, improve relations with the Pope. Yeah, we can do uh, with a bit more there. Yes, I know, we have Mothwell Forge. So that's the point, saving money. There we go. So, now you can attack Bapuatu. And I think... Do they have any uh, actual fleets moving around? Let's just make sure... Oh, yes, they do there. Okay, maybe we could capture them. Okay, recall the diplomat from Genoa. Oh, not Paris. Flanders was in trouble. Okay. That's not good. England cannot gain more of a foothold in the continent. We have to start curbing their power here soon. Sooner rather than later. Uh, maybe we can get uh, Cornwall on our side. Mercia, that is. Is Mercia in England... Yes, a vassal. Okay. Yeah, that may be the weak point. We might be able to hit that. Santouage? Oh, that's a quick battle. Santonge. Not Santouage, Santonge. Um, okay. This will be quick enough, I think. Archambault de Albuquerque. Uh, Archambault de Albuquerque should go somewhere. Hmm, but where? And to do what? Oh, so many questions. Let's see. To the south. Ooh, lots of new things. Thank you, thank you, uh, Mr. Thales. Thales, 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 Thales. Lots of ships. Lots of virgin land, it seems. That's good to colonize, hopefully. And, oh. Ah, we still don't know that, so... Great big desert in our way, though. We do have a finger into the desert already. Where would we need better relations? Well, we're gonna need better relations with Gascogne. Should we vassalize them at some point? Uh, Ireland... Yeah, let's uh, make sure we have good relations with our allies. And send our soldiers. Once they've conquered Bapuatu. Uh, we plunder this... I could plunder a lot more, but in the meantime, move to Armor, kick these Pontievren asses, and uh, expel their ships so we can capture them. A few more trade ships wouldn't hurt us. Unless it's uh, over our limit. It wouldn't be, right? It actually would. Uh, maybe we don't want to capture them then. <laughs> yeah, but winning a few battles for naval tradition will be good. Enemies are sieging. Oh, that's not good. Get back there. Uh, 
Okay, recall the uh, Papal Envoy. Let's have some more claims. Euboria or Athens. Let's go for Athens. Oh, yeah. I have all of that claimed now. Oh, finally an heir. Can I get a good name? Come on, one good name. Come on, come on. You know you want to. Ah, like our uh, glorious forefather, the Hammer. Okay, he's terrible, but at least he's decent at fighting. Ah, West African Sea has been explored. Okay. Well, they have explored quite a bit, that's true. So, what can you do now? Explore... the coastline. See if there's any good spots for colonies. How far along do we need? Okay, just a year away from having actual colonists. Oh, we have plus five discipline. That's good. That's really good for our troops. So, new technology. Oh, yes. Maybe we should get more uh, advanced military technology. Should we change our troops? Yes, I think we should. Latin medieval infantry. We should go for Men-at-Arms, Longbow, or Gallo Gleich. Mm, defensive or offensive? Defensive or offensive? Pretty sure we're going to be on the offensive more than the defensive, so let's go for Longbows. And counter the English Longbows. We have casualties. Well, not for long. They're going to get replaced pretty quickly. And these are going... Okay, they're going back to... Uh, I'm pretty sure... Uh, going to go to Bapuatu. That's my guess. Let's go intercept. And we're actually making money while at war, just to, by plundering, I guess. Okay, we have a... Uh, have a lazy diplomat not doing anything. Uh, what could you do? Um, I think we could start building our network in England, actually. Once these guys are over and done with, um, hmm, actually not, uh, maybe those guys will get it done before that. Okay, start working on a network in England, so we can start claiming their territories soon enough. Devon and Dorset? Hampshire, maybe? Devon, Dorset, and Hampshire, those are the same region. Uh, and Cornwall, so we'll get an, the entirety of Wessex. Oh, they're actually... Ah, interesting. Oh, but they're sieging Genoa, so... <laughs> I don't mind that. <laughs> yeah, let's the Genovese handle them. That's instead of plunder Babuatu. Luçon. Oh, poor people of Luçon. Come on, come on. How long can Saint Malo... Uh, I mean... Saint Malo. Ah, 
finished discovering the western coast. Good. So. Ah. Uncolonized. Yes, uh, as to we expected. Yes, I think we should work on higher developed colonies first. So we can get good ones. Uh, and then... Yeah, we need to st start sending out colonists as soon as possible. Arquin. Ooh, that's a lot of natives and very aggressive. We need to send in an expedition before a colonist. Wipe those bastards out. Uh, and further south, ah, the same. These are terrible. I mean, not necessarily terrible, but there's a lot of people living there. Not good for business. Not unless you, you, you enslave them. So, um... Hmm. North Atlantic. Uh, not just right now, I don't think. Let's go for the Caribbean. Maybe you can colonize that if you're far enough. Uh, maybe not. Let's instead... Uh, Atlantic South America, yes. Do that instead. That's closer to us, I guess. Eventually. We have seen Flotsam coming over with a sea current, so we know there's land there. That, by the way, is how the Portuguese knew there was land there and amended the Treaty of Tordesillas. Just pushing the boundary a bit west, huh? because they knew that there was land there. Are they coming back south? Ah, yes they are. Okay, well. Ah, finally. I'm getting the cores. I think we can catch them. Yes, there we go. Oh, 30,000 English, that's a lot. Shahole, okay. Let's see, a big battle for the first time. And we're annihilating them. Completely. Okay, you can go back to Valencia. Uh, no, go back to Valencia. Ah, I'm pretty sure we can uh, fabricate a claim. Yes, we can. Naxos or Corinth? Corinth. And we have won the Siege of Armor, and their fleets have joined ours in glorious battle. They don't stand a chance. And there we go. Ah, quite a bit of uh, navy tradition for them, not so much for us. Hmm. Okay, uh, war I think is over now. So, uh, let's have this guy come back so we can declare peace. Uh, aggressive expansion, okay, slowly improving. It's going to take a hit with all the land we're going to take here. Hopefully not too much. We'll just try to be conservative. What we really want is armor. That's the most important one. Uh, but if we get Montpellier, that would also be really good. Bapotou, Armor, everything if we can, Armor if we cannot. So, uh, let's see, tech wise, how far along? Six years. And you're not catching up because we still need another idea before we do that. 
Yeah, we'll be short on diplomatic points, that's for sure. Gotta start colonizing. Ah, yes, unconditional surrender. So, uh, let's see. We could get Montpellier, of course. That's 17 aggressive... That's a lot of aggressive expansion. Oh, yeah. Toulouse, Knights Templar, and Paris would not be pleased. Hmm... It's also a lot of diplomatic points. But I think it's worth it. Would it be able to claim the entire Atlantic coast in France? And, I mean, this aggressive expansion will go down rather quickly, in about 10 years. In the meantime, we'll be fighting in the east and colonizing, so... Yeah. I think that's okay. Uh, release nations? No. Uh, annul treaties? Not really. Let's just uh, have them give their money over to us, because we'll know what to do with it. They don't, we will. And that's gonna be a lot of administrative points for... Yeah, coring those. Okay. So, finished coring some, start coring others. And we still don't have enough points. Yeah. Gonna be short on everything. Short on everything. So, uh, March 62. Okay. We can work with that. We can work with that. Yes, get transported if you have to. But before that, you can... Uh... Oh, no, you can't. Okay. Um... So then don't do that, and you do that. Get the ships already on that side, carrying the troops. Okay, and Archambault is back, so you can start working on improving our relations with Gascogne a bit more. Yeah, probably. You could also start working on claiming other regions in France, but eh. keep improving, keep improving. Call to arms. Anatolia is requesting that you come to their aid in the Anatolian conquest of Bozok against Abyssinia, Damot, Hadia, and Nubia. What? Who are you at war with? Tell me. Oh, all these people down there. Uh, okay. How strong are they? And why are you fighting them exactly? You have no interests down there, or do you? That's an odd war. Um, are they fighting over here? No, they're not. Uh, okay, we'll accept. Uh, no, no, no. Uh, keep drilling. Don't, no need to stop. And... Don't mobilize the forts. Not in the Iberian Peninsula. Those we don't need at all. Uh, oh yeah, these two we always need. These guys we don't. This is the wrong island to have a fort in. I think we're gonna destroy that. And eventually build one there. That is the correct island to have it in. Um, 
That's just wasted maintenance for a poorly placed fort, so. These two will maintain just in case. And in the east as well. Okay. Okay, looks good. How many troops? Ooh. Not many at all. Uh, they're weak. Okay. Yes, we're at war, but not really a big war, just a small war. In fact, we don't really need to maintain the army at full power. Uh, and in fact, our fleets, uh, you should... I don't really need to go to port. Just keep protecting. Oh, so what are you doing? Oh, you're exploring. Still not done. Okay. Oh, there's been a battle somewhere. Or just time going by and their exhaustion going up. Because I don't see th there's any war going on. We need to send troops to Arguin, I think. So once these guys are back, oh, they're already back, uh, so you, go there, just for a little bit. Aha, finished, okay, uh, waiting, excellent. Ah, I'm not sure I want to have you explore a lot more very quickly because then the discoveries will spread to others that we don't want to know where things are so uh yeah let's hold on on exploring the land let's explore the sea Papal state is at war with someone. Ooh, okay, well. Because they're allied with England. Ah, I see. Rebel uprising. Really? In one year, 10,000. That's not that a lot. We'll kill them. So, claims. Uh, what do we want? We want... Well, Cornwall for one. There we go. The very tip. Uh, then we can start claiming on Ireland, if we conquer that. How are the Genovese territories up north? Terrible. Excellent. Oh. Okay. All gone? Uh, oh, no they're not. Anatomical theater. I see. Reprimand the doctors. No, no, no. They can dissect the bodies of the convicted. Hmm. Local unrest would go up. Let us work to secure a constant supplies of bodies for their work. Hmm. Hmm. 
10 prestige. Well, we have a lot of prestige, so that's not a worry. The, and rest, though, I don't like. Um, is Castile already uh, pretty high on the unrest? Yes. Ah, uh, crap. The Anavidus would be good. I mean... <laughs> yeah, okay, let's lose one. I don't want the extra unrest there. Okay, are they gone now? Yes, they are. Excellent. So, you can go back to Valencia. We can go back to not paying you. You can go to Milan. Come on. Oh, that's what I was thinking of. Come on, come on. Colonists. One idea away from getting uh, morale of navies. Okay. So, we need to choose a native policy. Okay. Let's choose a native policy. Native coexistence minus 100% uprising. Okay, that's good. Uh, native trading policy will assimilate more and they'll have a reduced chance of uprising. Native repression will grow much more quickly. Well, I think we should trade with them. That is in our nature. And that'll assimilate a lot more of the natives once they get a colony up. So. That seems like the Portuguese way of doing things. Our units have suffered casualties. Well, they're reinforcing. Don't worry about that. More worried about the provincial unrest. Claims will end in 81. Well, we'll declare war way before that, so. Actually, we need more troops over here. 15,000 is not enough. Um. So, what sort of alliances do these fellas have? Not much, just between themselves. Okay. Easy pickings, then. Easy pickings. We need 30 for that, and 35 for this. Okay. Ghana has declared war on Kong. Good luck with that. Try to get help from Godzilla. Gojira! So we need to work towards, yeah, catching up on technology. Don't want to slip too far behind. Yeah, I think we should work on this technology before another idea. Uh, uh, yeah, range is not necessary, I don't think. Though that would be nice. Yeah, uh, that would manage... At some point, oh yeah, that's a long time down the road, though. Huh. 
How far until we get the overextension dealt with? Two years. Okay, finish South Atlantic exploration. Can we get anything with 25? No, we cannot. Crap. Okay. Well, so, South Atlantic exploration. Oh, okay. Uh, got a few things uncovered there. How far can we go? Not much further. Let's explore the North Atlantic then. That should increase our... Oh, yes, quite a lot. Our Navy tradition. Excellent. Very, very good. Oh, well. We have managed to slightly expand our territory in the west. We're going to push harder on the east. And we're starting Atlantic exploration. We found new lands to conquer, colonize, and exploit. We're also involved in a minor war against... Uh, these barbarians to the south. But Anatolia will do much of the heavy lifting, really. We don't really have to do much in this war. I don't think. Just slowly ticking in our favor until they all give up. In the meantime, we'll try to stop English power from growing in France. Hopefully, uh, getting a foothold in the Isles ourselves soon enough, because I don't like the way things are going over here. Toulouse, Flanders, yeah. The English cannot have a permanent foothold in the continent. That's pretty much it. We'll have to force them to release territories if we have to. But all of that is going to be next time. Till then.